Tony here, Next Automotive. Today we're gonna to talk about the Toyota Lexus parking sensor angle tool that's used in combination with your digital angle gauge. So things I don't like about this tool, it's really narrow. If you look at the size of it compared to the size of the sensor, um, it's very, very small in comparison. It is nice that it's magnetic, but most of the digital angle gauge uh, tools have magnets on the bottom of them and then you have to set it up sideways when you're getting your um, base level position um, and then you got to look at everything sideways so that's kind of weird um, so let's run through on how to zero this out and what the actual measurement looks like so first I like to set up the tool how I'm gonna measure it um, placing it on the level floor right in front of the bumper and then I'll zero it out here set to zero all right from there, we'll move up to the sensor and attach the tool. All right, now we magnetically attach it. We have to pay attention that our tool does not hit these higher spots. So we have to make sure it's in the that middle section. And then we're gonna get it up on the, uh, the sensor itself. And you can kind of see how sensitive it is and how it doesn't really sit securely. It looks like this one's right around three degrees. So I'd record this at three degrees. So here at Next, we decided what can we do to make this better? So I got with my 3D printer specialist and um, talked to him about some things that we didn't like and what we did like and came up with this digital angle gauge box to fit over the tool to get better and more accurate readings. Let's see how it works. So here we put this in our box, turn it on, put it on the same level floor in front of the car. We're gonna go ahead and zero it out to the floor and then we'll move it up to the sensor and see what reading we'll get with this. Now that we're at the car, you can now see that we have better contact with the sensor and we have a much different reading, about five degrees with this one. 